Welcome to sip9.com. In this video, ito tuloy natin yung ating series on subtraction of integers. And uh, bago nyo panoorin itong video na to, dapat napanood nyo na yung mga videos bago tong video na to, no? So, para malaman nyo yung mga videos na kakailangan nyo para sa video na to, pumunta kayo sa sip9.com. And then, uh, tignan nyo yung mga, uh, yung list ng dun sa series on integers, no? And then, uh, panoorin nyo. Okay, so, from the previous videos, hindi ko na-explain to isa-isa kasi napag-aaralan natin ito. Uh, napag-aaralan natin that A minus B can be converted to A plus negative B. No? And A minus negative B can be converted to A plus B. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Ibig sabihin nito, any subtraction problem can be converted into an addition problem. At ang ibig sabihin niyan, that's good news for everybody kasi hindi nyo na kailangan i-memorize yung subtraction which I think is pinakamahira para sa mga estudyante. No? Kasi dito, any subtraction problem can be changed to uh, an addition problem. So you don't really need to uh, memorize subtraction. Okay, so again, uh, kung gusto nyo malaman yung details niyan, dapat panoorin nyo yung mga previous videos. Okay, so let's have an example. Example 1. What is 12 minus 7? Well, obvious ito, no? Obvious ito na 5 kasi mas malaki naman yung ano natin, yung minimum natin doon sa subtrahin. Therefore, positive 5 ito, no? This is positive 5, of course. We know that. But if we apply this rule, again, hindi nyo naman kailangan i-apply. Pinapakita ko lang, ano? Siyempre, kung nasa exam na kayo, diretso 5 na. But if we apply this rule, this expression belongs to this group, the first one. So this is, uh, or the first equation here. Pwede natin siyang baguhin na, or pwede natin siyang gawin 12 plus negative 5, no? And sa addition of integers, ginagawa natin is minus natin. Pag magkaiba ng sign, this is positive, this is negative. And then we get the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. So, absolute value ng 12 is 12. Ang absolute value ng negative 5 is 5. Mas malaki yung absolute value ng 12. Therefore, since positive siya, positive yung answer natin. So, 7. 12 minus 5 is 7. Okay? Again, pinapakita ko lang yung relationship ha, sa, sa totoong exam. O kung sasagot kayo, syempre, obvious naman na 5. No? Number 2. What is 8 minus 19? Again, this one is also obvious. Negative ang sagot dito kasi, syempre, mas malaki yung may na-minus mo eh, no? Doon sa pinagmaminusan mo, kung may 8 pesos ka, magbibigay ka ng 19 pesos, may utang ka pa, di ba? So, magna-negative ka ngayon. So, 19 minus 8 is negative 11. But again, if, if format natin siya dito, magiging A plus negative B siya. So, magiging 8 plus negative 19. And this time, magiging negative yung sagot niya kasi mas malaki yung absolute ng negative 19, di ba? The, the absolute value of a negative number is positive, di ba? And of course, the absolute value of positive is positive. So, mas malaki yung absolute value nito, positive 19. So, anong sign niya? Negative. So, therefore, negative din yung sign ng sagot. So, 19 minus 8 is Ilan? 11. Okay? So, negative 11. Number 3. What is negative 7 minus 9? Ita natin yung negative sa taas. Negative 7 minus 9. Okay? So, maging negative 7. Ang minus 9 natin, pwede natin siyang gawing plus negative 9. Katulad nito, no? ito pa rin siya. A minus B, ang A nga lang natin dito is negative. Ito yung A natin. Ha? So, A minus B is equal to A. This A is negative 7 plus negative 9. At sabi natin, pag parehong negative, i-add lang natin and then the sign is negative. So, negative 16. So, napapansin nyo lahat ng, ng uh, subtraction, ginawa kong addition. Number 4. 
let's have 6 minus negative 3 okay so mapapanood nyo ito sa previous video no pag may 6 minus negative 3 kayo or pag parehong or pag magkasunod yung negative at saka yung negative at saka yung minus or minus negative this is the same as plus this is this part here so, magiging 6 plus 3 siya, which is equal to 9. Okay? And then, number 5, negative 5 minus negative 4. Saan siya? Dito siya kasi minus minus or, or minus negative. So, this is uh, minus negative. This becomes negative 5. Ito yung ayin natin is negative 5. And then the minus negative becomes plus and then becomes 4. So minus negative 4 uh, was changed to plus 4. So negative 5 plus 4, oh, addition na siya, negative 5, mas malaki yung absolute value ng, ne ng negative 5. So negative yung sagot 1. So 5 minus 4 equals 1. Okay, so kung mapapansin niyo lahat ng mga... Um, Subtraction problem ay ginawa nating addition. Ibig sabihin, you don't have to worry about subtraction at all. Ang i-memorize yun lang ay ang addition. And again, hindi naman tayo nag-memorize. Kung, kung pinanood nyo yung previous videos natin, ay makikita nyo naman na di, talagang pinaliwanag naman natin kung paano ba na derive yung ganong classing rule. No? So, dapat, dapat intindihin nyo yung rule, hindi lang kayo mag-memorize. Dahil mamaya, pag nag-memorize kayo, pag nakalimutan nyo, ay mahirap na. No? lalo na pag kayo mag-exam. Okay, so, para makareceive kayo ng mga notifications in case merong bagong videos, no, na ipinost sa YouTube or sa Sipnayan, pag kayo ay nasa YouTube, pumunta kayo dun sa, or mag-click kayo dun sa subscribe button sa ilalim ng video. And then, kung sa sipnayan.com naman kayo, ay uh, uh, punta lang kayo dun sa homepage kung saan nandun yung um, uh, subscription box natin. Ano? So, may email subscription box doon. Type nyo lang yung email nyo at mag-subscribe. That way, ay, every time na meron tayong bagong video na pinost ay updated kayo. Ano? So, maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.